Evolution remains one of the most important yet misunderstood topics of contemporary science. The kingdom of life has and continues to demonstrate evolutionary processes, yet the public, and even many scientists, remain confused with the subject. Through studying different animals and their evolutionary histories, many important case studies can be explored to demystify this crucial biological concept. Monarch butterflies are a perfect evolutionary example to examine, as their unique morphologies, interspecies relationships, and highly unique lifestyle habits make for fascinating evolutionary exploration. In this particular mind map, we will be exploring the relationship between monarch butterflies and their host plant, the milkweed. Milkweeds are not a single species, but rather a group of species in the Asclepidaceae family, all of which are noted for their beautiful clustering blooms, fresh long leaves, and toxic thick sap. Monarchs are a single butterfly species belonging to the Dianaenae family, only four of which exist in North America. While monarchs and milkweeds might appear like two separate species who interact through reproductive means, their morphologies, properties, and behavioral patterns are the product of ancient evolutionary processes dating back 4 million years. To explore these evolutionary trends, this module will explore four key domains of co-evolution between milkweed and the monarch. First, we will look at the defensive mechanisms of the milkweed, showing how gradual monarch adaptation to milkweed defenses spurred an evolutionary arms race between the two groups of life. Second, we will explore the role of milkweed reproductive cycles and growth patterns in promoting sensory visual evolution in the monarch. Third, we will show how traits adopted by the monarch through milkweed coevolution have influenced aversion behaviors in predators, as well as a unique case of mimicry. Finally, we will show how the growth habits of milkweed have been influenced by monarch migration, a process that has been determined by milkweed growth patterns in the first place. All of these lessons shed light on not only the distinct and complex coevolutionary relationships between milkweeds and monarchs, but also the many ways in which life forms of different origin have shaped the course of one another's evolution, whether that be through predation, adaptation, or defense. As we move forward into future lessons, there are some important concepts to demystify. While it might be tempting to assume that monarchs and milkweeds selected the traits observed throughout their natural histories, such is not the case. Rather, the traits observed throughout these two groups' evolutionary histories are the product of chance, with different combinations of mutations yielding variable outcomes in survival, eventually changing the allelic frequency of descendants. Once this process continued in the long run, descendants with traits favoring higher reproduction eventually dominating the gene pool. The monarch butterfly has an evolutionary history of at least 4 million years. As such, the processes described in this video certainly did not happen overnight. So, when you hear phrases like adapted or evolved in the upcoming videos, know that they are not referring to conscious choices in the monarch or milkweed, but rather the culmination of lucky mutations that arose over millions of years. It is also important to reject the notion that individual species evolve traits in their lifetimes to overcome an existing pressure. While it might make sense to imagine milkweed or monarchs deciding to behave a certain way or evolve a certain trait, evolutionary mechanisms do not operate in such a manner. As previously stated, these shifts occurred through chance mutation, which in turn resulted in non-random survival rates. Having this brief overview of evolution both in monarchs and milkweeds, and also some misconceptions, I look forward to exploring how coevolution has made these two groups of life the way they are in the present day. Alright, let's get learning.